I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. I'm shaking the cobwebs off. I tell you I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. I'm shaking the cobwebs off. Still I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. I'm shaking the cobwebs off. I don't want no cobwebs on me today. A reason to get up, I ain't found one yet. Shaking them off is the hardest to get. Crooked steps, words are messed, thoughts are a blur. Gonna shake them off, it's the only cure. I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. I'm shaking the cobwebs off. I tell you I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. What's up, y'all? This is your boy, DJ BJ Clark, with the After Work Drive Show, right here on 104.5 WRFU. I want to invite you to tune in every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. for the After Work Drive Show with your boy, DJ BJ Clark. I'll see you in the future. In the future. In the future. 104.5 WRFU. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. I think I'm back. Showtime, baby, showtime. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In a world where nothing is You're certain. like the loaded, baby. We talk about being positive and staying positive all Only day, every music day. can help you let's find go, baby. the let's right go. way. <laughs> they ain't ready for this one. The way you should follow We're going to take it to a brand new level today, man. This way, you are ready we'll take now. you to the best genres of music from friends. around the world. Yep, yep, yep. Ready, man. Big shout out to all the people here in Atlanta, baby. What's Ladies up, what's and up? gentlemen, what's up? please welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, y'all? This your boy, DJ BJ Clark. You tuned in to the After Work Drive Show right here on 104.5 WRFU. Our disclaimer does say, WRFU is an open forum for abandoned champagne communities, views and expresses online and community. Views expresses of those of the speakers and not intended to represent WRFU UC. IMC or Urbana, Urbana Socialist Form. And that's why I'm your boy DJ BJ Clark. You tuned in to the After Work Drive Show. I hope everybody had a beautiful, beautiful day at work. It's Thursday. One more day and we will be on Friday. Friday is like everybody's happiest day of the week. And it seems like on Monday people are just like, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. But I like Thursdays. Thursdays are kind of like unofficial Fridays, really, man. You can you, you, you get away with stuff on Thursday that you can't get away with on Tuesday. You know, like showing up to work like maybe five, three minutes late. I know some of us do that from, from time to time. Anyways, a uh, big shout out to all my peoples there. Papa John's, Florida Avenue in Urbana. What's up, Perry? What's up, Diana? What's up, Carla? What's up, Mike? I'll also be forgetting about my boy Mike, man. Mike, Brandon, Hannah. I gotta say what's up to Vanessa over there, Papa John's, Florida Avenue in Urbana. I'll be holding it down for my people right here in Urbana, Champaign, Urbana. Stand up. For real, though. I love my peoples here, man. Y'all know I'm Mr. Be Positive and Stay Positive. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you follow me on Facebook. I appreciate you. You know, I've, I've been talking about on Snapchat today. I've been talking about holding on to feelings like sadness, depression, you know, anger. Like, you can't hold on to those feelings, man. You got to let those feelings go if you want to move forward in life. You know what I mean? We talk about forgiveness. Yesterday, I was talking about forgiveness. But the, today, I want you to just hold on to happiness, man. And I, I made a promise to myself, man. I said the next time I feel sad, I'm going to quickly get rid of that feeling. You know, sad, mad, depressed, angry. I try to dismiss those feelings right away because those are not good feelings to hang on to. To hang on to. Now, it's okay to get those feelings because we're human. 
All right, and everybody has emotions, and if you don't have those type of emotions, you might want to go talk to a therapist or a counselor or something and figure out what's really holding you down and embracing those feelings in because sometimes you got to work out those feelings. It's okay, fellas, to cry now and then, okay? It's okay to shed a tear. You know, we're all human, man. Anyways, anyways, I'm, let's get back to the to the message. It's all about being positive and staying positive. And here on the After Work Drive show, that is what we want to do is we want to lift everybody's spirits up. And we want to, if you had a rough day at work, I just want to inform you that work is over. And you don't have to worry about today. No more stress. No more about it. Let that feeling that you had at work go. Don't bring those feelings home, uh, especially to the kids um, uh, and to your loved ones or whatever. Leave those feelings in the car when you get out to go um, inside or vice versa when you're going to go pick the kids up and, you know, do your you know, after school, after work things. You know what I mean? Just 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 say, hey, it was a great day. I'm glad I made it through. Let's go ahead and leave that those feelings back there at work. Let's 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 start fresh. You know what I'm saying? You get to see your loved ones, you get to see your family, your kids, you get to have dinner tonight. So those are always wonderful things to look forward to. Get to watch your favorite TV shows, whatever that may be. You might be a, a family that likes to sit around and read books. Or you might play board games and stuff like that. That's all cool stuff. Or maybe just go for a walk. But uh, talking about a walk, currently right now, guys, it is 63 degrees. We do have an overcast here for Thursday. Now, your date is 10-12-2017. Just want to say that. For everybody listening on WRFU.net, I think you guys, thank you guys for tuning in, number one. Um, but you're, here's your forecast for today, guys. Now, we did reach a high of 64 we reached a high of 64. The weather's been kind of drizzy-like. I'm going to use the word drizzy, kind of like um, foggy, misty, cloudy. I know those are probably not even words, but that's how I'm going to describe it, and y'all can feel me on that. Now, the clouds been sticking around, and the clouds are going to stay uh, stick around throughout the night, too, as well, guys. So um, expect, expect that for this evening, kind of just like a patchy fog in the morning as well. But um, this, uh, the sun will will return tomorrow for, for Friday's forecast. But let's talk about tonight real quick. Now, tonight, guys, we will drop down. To, we will drop down our low tonight is 54, 53, 54. That will be our low this evening. All right. If you plan on going out, doing some karaoke, um, if you're doing karaoke tonight, make sure, you know, you grab a hoodie or jacket on your way out the door tonight for those evening plans. All right. I don't I don't really see any more rain uh, on our forecast for this evening, but we can always we're always going to keep an eye on our uh, weather radar right here at 104.5 to make sure that uh, you guys don't get rained on. All right. I want you guys to always know what the weather is. Now, your forecast for tomorrow, tomorrow, like I said, on Tuesday, guys, it's going to be a sunny Friday. It's a ideal day. I almost wish that Friday and Saturday were going to look the same, but they're not. Um, I'm going to just be truthful with you right now. Friday, we're going to have a beautiful day, 77 for tomorrow. All right, 77 will be your high, 52 will be your low, mostly sunny. Now, that wind's going to be kind of like today's wind. All right, for tomorrow, we're going to have about six miles, six, seven miles per hour winds from the southeast, mostly sunny. And then that Friday evening, if you're going out there to watch the kids play football, because this is almost one of the last weeks for uh, Friday football fever. Um, you're going to need a hoodie when you go out on football to watch the games tomorrow night. So grab that hoodie. But uh, it's just going to be about 52 will be your low tomorrow. And um, it's just going to be a nice, beautiful day. Um, I know I'm going to try to do a little bit of lawn work tomorrow. Try to get some of those leaves that are falling down because fall is here and it's going to be more fall-like weather. All right. And, 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 and for Saturday's forecast, let's jump into our weekend here on Saturday. Now, that wind's going to pick up to about 12 miles per hour blowing from the south. But uh, with that wind, it brings some more storms our way here in central Illinois. All right. But we will reach a high of 82 because of that southern wind. That will give us a, a, a temperature increase. 82 on Saturday. 62 will be your, our low. 
All right, and we got some thunderstorms that are going to be coming in with that, too, with some lightning, which will make it peaceful on a Saturday evening to sleep. So that's kind of cool. All right, on Saturday evening, we'll drop down to 62. All right, be prepared for chillier weather, guys. Saturday, 62 will be our low. We're just going to start falling lower, getting lower and colder out there. On Sunday, 73 will be your high. 57 will be our low and that those those showers are going to stick around for sunday too as well first of all if you if you're following us on facebook and snapchat and all that other stuff thank you guys for tuning in don't forget we will have the community fellowship church here the community fellowship church here at the imc located downtown urbana the old post office building 202 south broadway all right so come on in for some church um we got the community fellowship church where everybody belongs with uh, pastor Vinny centinelli so well, that's on sunday now sunday we will reach a high of 73 and a low of 57 more more thunderstorms and lightning storms coming this coming this weekend all right so saturday sunday don't expect anything dry okay winds from the southwest are going to pick up to about 16 miles per hour on sunday sunday evening will drop down to 57 degrees yep 57 then on monday when we jump back into the work week on monday we're going to see the sun. The sun will shine again on Monday. 62 will be your hot. But that's what I say. We're going to get cooler here in the central Illinois, right here in Champaign or Banner. We'll drop down to about 62 is, will be your high, and then 41 will be our low. Okay? 41. For some of you guys that have the thin blood and you get cold easy, easier, you might want to, you know, layer up. Or just go ahead and bust that winter jacket out, man. But uh, Monday, we're looking at 41 will be our low. And it'll be a sunny Monday. Winds from the southwest at 7 miles per hour. Then on Tuesday, all right, on Tuesday, 67. And after Monday, we're going to just see sunny days right now. I see sunny days on our forecast. Tuesday, 67 will be our high. And 43 will be our low. On Tuesday, with a sunny day with southwest winds at 7 miles per hour. Then on Wednesday, all right, Wednesday, we're looking at 71 on Wednesday. And uh, that will be your high, 71 degrees. And 46 will be your low. That wind will pick up from the south at 10 miles per hour. And um, that was our seven-day forecast. And Wednesday is another sunny day, too, as well. So we just got to get through the weekend and get get past this rain spot here on the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll see sun all, mostly for, for next week, all week long. It'll be beautiful. So there you guys go. That was your seven-day forecast right here on 104.5 WRFU. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, first of all, and making... The After Work Drive Show, the show to tune into. I really do appreciate everybody right here in Champaign-Urbana for making this the show to listen to after work. I want to thank you guys so much, man. I I guess we are one of the top ranked uh, shows right now, and not just in the United States, but also internationally. So big shout out to everybody that's tuning in at WRFU.net and taking us on their tablets and laptops and cell phones and stuff. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% on how we react to it. You guys hear me say that on every single show. But I want you guys to really grab and grasp that concept, okay? Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% on how you react to it so that means if you have a problem how you react to those problems is your outcome that's how it's going to go you know that's why i say man i'd rather go through i would rather grow through something than just go through it you know you got to learn i think every single thing that we go through in life we learn all right life is we're supposed to and we should go through life learning and seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, you know, and I always enjoy learning. That's always been one of my favorite things. Like um, last night, I was talking to my girl, man, last night, and I said, do you think there is any place in the world that hasn't been explored? 
And so that was a question I just wanted to know answers to, right? So I got on Google and I, I Googled it. I said, is there any place in the world that haven't been explored? And actually, guys, there is places in the, there's rainforest forests that haven't been explored. Um, there's places in Antarctica, you know, the cold, frigid places where we probably will never be able to get to. Um, but obviously, we're able to get there by satellite to take pictures and stuff. But um, those are the fun things that I like to learn. I just love to learn. And I want you guys to seek knowledge, man. If you learn more, you earn more. And that's a true fact. You learn more, you earn more. Anyways, good vibes, man. I'm trying to tell you guys good vibes. Make sure you stay positive, be positive. Always choose to be happy, okay? I don't know why somebody would want to be choose to be sad, but people do it, guys. And, 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 and we don't do it by on purpose, Sometimes it's just it, we're, we train our mind. All right? We train our mind to be sad when when you don't even really need to be sad. Okay, you shouldn't be sad unless you it really is a sad moment. But I I want to say this: choose to be happy, man. Okay, work on just seeing the good out of everything that you can. All right. I know difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations, and and and, and if if something is really hard in life, just know. You will, this too shall pass. I know that's like an easy thing to say, but just think about all the things that you've been through in the past, all right? And everything that you've overcome and you've got to this point in life and you've made it, man. You've made it to today. Now you got to look at yourself and say, is this as far as I want to get? Are we going to get farther? You know what I mean? I always tell myself, be the reason why people smile. You know, yesterday, yesterday is over. All right. We can't we can't get yesterday back, but we can we can be today. Live today. I'm trying to tell you life, live life to the fullest and focus on being positive. OK, don't let people bring you down. Don't let somebody bring you down. Don't even talk yourself into into even remotely letting somebody bring you down. You know, if you see somebody with that negative attitude, you can go ahead and dismiss that. Be like, nah, nah, nah. It's either you wake up and be positive with me or you're going to get left behind because I, I got a positive mind, positive vibe, positive tribe with a positive life. That's what you got to let everybody go. You got you to gotta let everybody know that this is how it goes. You know, your, your vibe attracts your tribe. I say that too all the time. But believe in yourself, guys. I want you guys to believe that you are unstoppable. Once you have it in your heart that, that you are amazing. And we all are amazing people. We all have our purpose here in life, in this world. We're all sitting here to do amazing things. And I want you guys, every single day, if you don't know your purpose, then I, I really want to just... You, encourage you to take the challenge of trying to find your purpose and i tell everybody before i really knew knew what my purpose was in life my purpose was basically love happiness health and wealth if i couldn't get if i did not know exactly what my purpose was i'm going to focus on love happiness health and wealth and I know if I focus on those those four core things, I would have the good life. And you know what? It really helped helped me and opened up a lot of doors for me. It opened up the positivity. Now I let you. I want you guys to know that life. You only get one life, man. Life is a one time offer. So you gotta use it well, man. Now, y'all hear me say this every single show, and I'm going to keep saying it until you know it's true. You are amazing. You are important. You are special, unique. You are kind. And people, everybody right here in Champaign-Urbana, you are precious, wonderful, kind, loving people. And that's what makes us the best right here in Champaign-Urbana because we, are, we, we work hard. We stay positive. And it is what it is. We're just beautiful people here. But I want y'all to be kind, work hard, stay humble. All right? Stay humble. That's one thing. You know, when, when we get success, yeah, 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 your arrogance and your ego start to take over. Don't be arrogant. 
Don't let your ego take over. A lot of somebody asked me. I was actually ta- talking to Dalton Hall. Um, we were in front of the black. We we're in front of Blackbird, and I said to him, I was like, "Hey, man, you know what ego means?" He goes, "Nah, nah." Dalton Hall. Big shout out to my boy Dalton Hall and the Dalton Hall band. Big shout out to Petey and them. Um, but I said, "You know what ego means, man?" I said, "It simply stands for edging God out." He said, whoa, BJ, that's kind of deep, man. But I really feel like edging God out. Like, it's like you're putting yourself above everything else. And that the only thing that matters is your ego, your, your how you feel, you know. So I want y'all to just stay humble, smile all the time, stay loyal, be honest, you know. And never stop learning, man. Never stop learning, Anyways, don't ever let anybody dull your spark, man, your sparkle. Always shine, guys. I always tell everybody, you only get one time to shine. And it's true. Every single day is your day to shine. You get one time to shine. So surround yourself with positive people. All right. Surround yourself with people that will inspire you, motivate you and encourage you to be the best version of you. Don't 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 hold on to people that will just let you slide through life with not just giving 100 all the time. I'm for real, guys. We didn't wake up to be average. We didn't wake up to just get by. We, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't say, well, today I'm just going to be average. No, we're going to be the best. We're going to be phenomenal here in Champaign-Urbana. I'm your boy, DJ BJ Clark. You tuned in to the After Work Drive Show. Be positive and stay positive. I got a lot on the way, man. I'm so happy to be here, by the way. Thanks for tuning in, y'all.